Hi, welcome to my channel where we talk all about the scientific part of manifestation or the law of assumption. Well, let's get into this subject because this is a controversial subject. When we talk about technique, it is a controversy. Which is the good one? What technique works? What technique is not working? Why some techniques are not working? And so on and on. In this video series, I will talk all about the many techniques that we hear or see out there. So, before I start with that, I would like to explain two or three little details about techniques. One of the things that I want to explain is what is the law of assumption? I explained that in my previous videos. If you don't see it, I recommend you. I will put the information here. One or two playlists of my videos, but let's get into that. This law of assumption that has become so popular around, it is very important. First of all, because we have to be conscious or aware of the power of our mind, our thought, our imagination, our vision, but not like something that it is like, like delusional, like I'm fake it to make it. No, this has scientific backup or scientific proof that your imagination, visions, visualization, mental rehearsal are a portal to the mental realm. The mental realm is the access to the unified quantum field or the quantum realm, which is unseen, full of photons, and expl I explained that in my previous videos too, but it's physics, it's quantum physics, exists too. It is physics. It is not tangible like this, but it's physics. So you need to see it that way. So now, why the law of assumption? When, why that name? The name of law of assumption is, first of all, it is a law. It is a principle. It is something that works, like the gravity, the gravity law. It's something that works. We know that if I left this fail, it's going straight to the ground. It's the gravity law working. It's a universal law. Works because work. The law of assumption is a law, as a principle. Why the word assumption? Because whatever you assume, it is a belief. And a belief, it is something that is going to be manifest. It's something that you believe. When you make an assumption, you automatically make a belief, making it something that is going to happen. It's an assumption. And we manifest whatever we assume. Let me put in a very, very simple example. When somebody is going to a party or a social meeting or any place that has any other people involved, and you see a lady or a man that looking at you like in a little, in a little strange way and see you, you immediately assume, oh, this person looking at me like that because I don't like them. That's an assumption. That is an assumption. And most of the time, we don't assume the positive, but we assume a negative. When we create that assumption, we immediately manifest that into our life or into our experience because assumption it is what is selecting a potential or selecting a future event in our life. So perhaps that person is a very nice person and I'm sure it's a nice person but when you assume that what you took was a version of that person that is negative and is going to show up in your life. 
because your assumption select X or Y version. That is why it's called assumption. Assumptions are manifesting our life, giving a shape to our life or experience our life all the time. It is a law. It is a law. Now, why I use Neville Goddard? Because these men who were born in 1905 in Barbados and he started practicing this law in 1933 and his master Abdullah taught him the law. It is the most reliable and accurate person explaining about the power of our wonderful human imagination or explaining with success all the time the use of our imagination or consciousness. Of course, by the time that Neville was explaining this, it's not the same time than now. Right now, we are in a different time with all this explosion of quantum physics, physics, uh, experiment, uh, science, and but it's still everything that he explained to us was as accurate and truthful as he explained in 19. 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, more than 60 years ago. Now, this video series is all about techniques because even though you see many techniques out there, what Neville all the time referred was only one technique, and that's what we call SATS, a state akin to sleep. It is those minutes, fraction of time before getting to sleep that we must practice what Neville teaches or taught us in, his, the, in, in Neville's book or audios. Now, very important, why I don't want you to treat that sad as a technique? Because it is not a technique. It is scientific proven by the physicist, French physicist, Dr. Jean-Pierre Garnier Mallet, he is still going around. You can do research about him. I'm putting in the description low, um, below uh, Dr. Jean-Pierre books. He's not paying me for anything, but I admire this man. He proved with all the scientific um, explanatory test, papers, experiment, that the moment when we go to sleep, our double body or doubling body, which is the energetic body or a quantum body, which is our subconscious mind or the mind of the creator in us or the mind of all consciousness, God in us, comes to us exactly at the moment when we are in REM. REM is rapid eye movement. It is when we are deep in sleep. And at that moment exists an exchange. This happens every single night or every single time when we get a deep sleep or when we are in a deep nap. That exchange information between the energetic body and our physical body. So that exchange of information will be based on the information, the last information you give it to your dobu or your quantum body or your quantum counterpart or the God in you or the subconscious mind. What happened is, the trick part is most of the time before we go to bed, we are thinking about pay the bills, the rent, a problem that we have at work, problem that we have with the family, with the specific person, and we trend to 
think about all this negativity before go to sleep and making it worse when somebody's watching the news at night or watching whatever program at night and let the subconscious mind, mind or the quantum, double quantum body working based on that. So when the exchange of information happen when we are sleeping, it is based to bring more of the last piece of information that I do give it to your quantum or energetic body before to sleep. So what Neville was teaching us, and that's why he has success all the time with that. He wasn't teaching us a technique, but he was teaching us a science that is a vital principle that we have to integrate in our every single night with awareness, with awareness. So what happened is, sat, it is the only technique. Sat, it is so accurate. Sat, it is something that I do most integrate to your daily nights. Or even though when you go to nap, napping. Sat is not a technique. Again, sat, it is a principle, vital principles of breathe, use the restroom, go to the bathroom, eat. It is something that is vital, integrated to your life. And you need to see it that way and start integrating in your life with awareness that way. Now, I would like to talk about all these techniques out there. Why I want to talk about this? Because many of these techniques works, other not. Or let me put it this way, other give you exhausting end. You will end exhausted, tired, frustrated, and we need to see why. We need to make a logic. We need to make a sense when we use this technique. And that is what I want to do in part two of this series. In the second video, I will talk about in detail of each of these techniques. But right now, let me mention some of them, okay? Many of the techniques that you heard out there, and I practice this, I practice all of them, and I was like what I call a trap of the technique going around in circle, in a loop, in a loop, in a loop with no result or perhaps little result. You will see that one of the most popular it is visualization with feeling. You need to feel it. You need to feel, you need to visualize, and you need to feel it. Feeling is the secret. And that is an information that is changed because that was not when Neville Godard referred. He referred to one specific feeling. And I talk about that feeling in my last book, The Vibrational Essence. I will put the information in here about the book. It's a very short book, but very powerful. Let's move on. Also, I heard, and perhaps you heard too, about visualize in detail plus affirm, but you need to be so detailed in your visualization. How you will be detailed in a visualization when the realm, the quantum realm or the realm of the mind is so different than the realm of the tangible or the 3D. So can not, come on now, let's use the common sense. Can not be as detailed as the 3D world, but let's move on. Be positive all day long. That is like, let's imagine the planet Earth being with the sun, sunshine 24 seven during the entire year season. It's going to be chaos. It's the same thing. They need to exist a biorhythm, sun, Rain, thunders, darkness, night, and all the seasons. It's the same thing as your life and my life. We need to pass through all the bio rhythm. So, but I will talk more in detail in the next video. So, flipping thoughts. 
Can you imagine that we have between 60,000 to 80,000 falls per day? And you need to be aware of all those two flipping. That is gonna make you so mentally tired, exhausted, and frustrated. Because that is something like, come on now, we need to use the logic. But let's move on. I'm not saying that these techniques are bad. I'm saying that we need to see how we will use it to thrive in life or to be success. But we will talk more about that in the next video. So positive affirmation. Sometimes we do positive affirmation that we don't even feel it. We don't even believe it. And we are repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating the same thing without believing it. So it's not working, of course. It's logic that it do not penetrate your conscious mind, not subconscious, your conscious mind, and you don't believe it, aware, conscious. It's not going to work. You are not going to assume it. You are not going to believe it. Let's move on. Be aware of the law of attraction. Imagine that. That is why many people was just going in circle, in loop, trap, in a trap of the law of attraction. It's the same thing like be aware all day long of the gravity. The gravity, you need to be aware. If something you put it or you let it fall down, you need to go to the floor. Be careful if no floating in the air. Come on now. We don't have to be aware of the law of attraction. The law of attraction is a universal law that works by itself. You just have to let it work for you. You don't have to even be aware of that. 60 seconds of rampage. With only 60 seconds, only 60 seconds, and the rest of the day, you can do whatever you want. In 60 seconds, you will change your life forever. Come on now, let's use a common sense. Of course, it's not gonna work like that. And especially if you are in the standpoint that you don't even know what is your real identity, that you don't even know who you are, because if you really know who you are, if you really know that you are one with the all creator, that you are one with the all powerful power, and this universe, you don't need none of this. You just need to know your identity. And that is going to be enough to manifest whatever you want like this. But let's move on because this video is all about techniques. Change your self-concept. So now you need to change your self-concept. If you don't change your self-concept, you are not going to get anything. I will talk more about that in the next video, and a scripting. You need to script in all day what you want, what you don't want, and you need to script and script. And if you don't script in, it's not gonna penetrate your subconscious mind. But I will talk more about those techniques in the next video, and we will talk in detail what is working, what is not working, what is good, what we have to discard, and what is our real, identity. So if you like this comment, subscribe to the channel, give me a like, send me a comment, and see you in the next video. So that video is going to be so powerful. See you there.